Hello my friends, uh, so what do we have here? Mafia 3 Alright, uh, let's first see uh, its uh, game folder So we have here Mafia 3 And it has like 42 uh, gigabytes Alright, uh, the folder is like this one And let's actually go and fast Look forward for uh, system recruitmentslab.com and we go here Mafia 3. When I hit here, can I run it? I want to see only the recruitments because I don't uh, have a uh, financial one. So the game uh, needs 2 GB of video memory on uh, the GPU and the graphic card, which we don't have. We have only 1 GB. And uh, yeah, 6 GB of RAM, which we have. i5. Uh, CPU. All right, I'm going to overclock the max power of my graphic card, and I'm going to play uh, right now the game. Here we go. Black screen, at 2K, and other stuff. Hey, Nvidia, we can see that. Warning: Do not disconnect or turn on. There we go. I'm going to show you the intro and as the regular stuff as Lincoln, I, I pick up the keys. Doing. Uh, because it's very laggy and it's so annoying that you guys might don't want to see. So we we have opened right now. We are starting the game. Uh, we have 10 frames per second, 12, uh, which is very bad and it's not playable at all. Uh, pick up the keys. Look at that. The game is so so laggy. How can I pick up the keys, man? Oh, I think we should go. If you're looking on the map, we should go right there. Now let's fast look on the uh, configuration option. And the display here. The resolution is this one of custom full screen on, off, low, off, low, low. Everything on low, screen borders. And yeah. Hey, man, grab those keys. Oh, uh, where the heck should I go? What keys? Still man? not sure about leaving him like this. Well, mm -hmm. he's in another room. Mm -hmm. Rattles, you can get the hell out of here. Mm -hmm. uh, right. What the heck is happening here? Uh, where the heck can I find the keys, man? Oh, cute. Mm -hmm. Oh no. The objective. Keys in another room. Grab them so we can get the hell out of here. A V. A Y. There are the keys, I think. I want to get this buzzer, man. We should get going. You got the keys so you can drive. Come right. on, let's get the hell out of here. But I want to get this one with me. <laughs> How can I just place it right here? Alright. Um, I want to go. I think we should go through here. So laggy, guys. Look at this app. 9 frames per second. Yeah, it's not playable. What the heck? You're kidding me? Holy moly. Take it easy, head to town. We don't need cops calling up our asses. Yeah, it's very long, guys. I don't need they can chase nothing. Trailer for sale or rent. Rooms to let 50 cents. No phone, no pool, no pets. 
Two hours. Old man wanted to keep one of the guards alive, help throw the feds off the trail. Thank you. This is not the uh, music from guys. Tip, I take a chance. Besides, if I learn anything from being over in Nam, someone's willing to flip sides once, they're probably willing to do it a second time. I'll fuck you in the process. So answer me this, what's the craziest thing you saw over there? You don't want to know. Hell, man, I'm a taxpayer. I got the right to know how my money's being spent. Oh, Georgie Marcano pays taxes. Damn right I do. That's how they got Al Capone, and I ain't going to prison for no fucking tax bill. Huh? So come on, you gonna answer the question or what? We, uh... We on the coast of Quang Nai. Evacuating the civvies for Charlie overran everything. Anyway, we get him onto a medical ship, and this woman walks up. She got a baby in one hand and the leash to a pig in the other. She starts up the ramp, and the MP stops her and tells her, "You can only bring one thing on board." So she tosses the baby into the water. MP goes ape, tells someone dive in after the kid, starts screaming at the woman, wants to know what the fuck she's thinking. You know what she says to him? She says, I can always have another baby. Jesus fucking Christ. Hey, man, you asked. <laughs> yeah, but I thought you were going to tell me a story about some goop getting his dick blown off or something. I mean, God damn. It's not a fault. But not like you think. The conditions over there, man. Jesus Christ. One day, you're raising cattle, tending your rice. Next day, everything bombed flat. You put people up against the wall, they will do anything to survive. That better have been one delicious fucking pig. Let's see if we can do it.